Good morning guys, welcome to today. It is four degrees, that's about 36 Fahrenheit, four degrees Celsius. And we're going on a trip today, it's Good Friday. I'm gonna go to Toronto and have a fish dinner with my, fish lunch with my parents. Anyways, I just wanna show you the state of the bar in mud. So, long ago when we put a line into the well and see this little river goes all the way down there's a little gully and it goes all the way up to the house too it uh, apparently when they put the line in they broke the tiles because we have all these tiles that, that are under the ground they drain all the way to the well way at the back of the property so our well is way back there and uh, there's a flood zone back there actually it's like a swamp in the spring but we had so much rain this year and snow and water and when I have to drive down and this is going to be dangerous because I'm sinking in the mud here this is from my truck <laughs> So, the problem is, also this field is a is little pond there and it drains, as you can see it drains, and it's still draining now, into here. And I have, what I have to do is a lot of work to fix this muddy situation this summer. I'm going to have to get some culverts and make... Uh, drain I mean I don't know how they're gonna fix the tiles I don't know if that can be done but then uh, all the water drains here and it goes all the way down to the field and that makes the whole field all muddy I mean if I if I tile drained everything if I put some culverts in and got some gravel and fix the driveway yeah Sophie's cold it's cold out we're doing chores early this morning it's early in the morning 7.30 and the sun is out, which is nice. So Chino st stays in at night. And so does the Mini. Oh, Mini. You ready to go? And Penny and the other girls stay out in the winter paddock, but Penny comes in to eat breakfast. And then we take her out in the field with Chino. On really rainy, rainy days, like there was the other day. Yeah, Penny, you're coming in to eat, yeah. Come on and eat. On really, really rainy days, Chino stays in. And Chino loves this stall though. Don't know why, he just loves this stall, eh? Chino's a stall loving person. Usually on weekends, I do everything myself. But because it's a long weekend and we're in a rush to go, I have to have help today. That part of the field, gets all the water down there it goes down into there so we haven't been using that gate we've been using the gate that's way over there to bring the horses so every morning Sophie doesn't want to walk through there so she takes the wheelbarrow with food and brings it out all the way out there but today because of speed I'm gonna go through there because the ground is a little bit frozen now no I'm gonna do it I'll do it you're gonna take the hay out yeah for once in your life yeah you feed the grain for the minis there outside mm -hmm. and uh, I'll be back all right see ya so Minnie's going out honey no honey honey's honey. going out to eat she doesn't do that when I do it she loves food she you know and Penny out and then do some chores and we're done so uh, we'll probably see in Toronto. We might not film that much in Toronto, but we will see. Even though my truck says it's two degrees, it was four a second ago. Probably didn't register properly. With the wind, it's like, feels like minus four. <laughs> and uh, also I want to note is usually my poop pile is gone by now. But because of the weather and the ground being so soft here, the guy who collects my poop hasn't come to get it yet. So, and he probably can't spread it on his field either yet because of the water, all the water we got this year. Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. It's so dark in our car, in Gabby's car. 
That's Gabby's car. Anytime we take Gabby's car, you know we're going far. Anyway, welcome to today. We're waiting on the girls. It is eight. Is it eight? What time is it, Sam? 8.30. It's 8.30. Gabby actually told me I wasn't allowed in her car anymore. Or actually, she told me I wasn't allowed to eat in her car anymore because I left something in here last time. <laughs> That's funny. I know. The before we can leave, I try and do every, when I know we're going away, I try and do everything like the day before. So I gave the chickens water and gave them food yesterday. But then when I woke up this morning, one of their water things were free. And I'm like, ah, eh, I feel bad. Like even though they have one full water thing, I felt, so we ended up having to give them fresh water and their other thing. I had to like fix something in the shed that the baby chickens were in. I had to like take Ellie for a run around. She's never seen birds before. I just saw birds. I can't wait till she chases birds. That's bad. I know. That's I don't want her to catch them. I don't want her to catch them and hurt them, but I love oh, watching that's her. that's bad because last time when, when Daisy was a puppy, mm. she chased a bird onto the road. Yeah, you know, that, yeah. You can't that, call Daisy back. But she chased chance. the yeah. shadow. Yeah. She chased the shadow of the bird. <laughs> yeah. So that's true. I don't want her chasing birds. Good point, Sam. Or leaves. But yeah, like, have. I'm excited. But before we, uh, while we're still waiting for Gabby, I wanted to show you guys how windy it is. I don't know if you can see. It doesn't look that windy, but it is windy. It is like insane amounts of windy. Let's go. All right. We will see you guys when we get to Toronto. And I'm going to show you guys. Sam's dessert compared to his mom's dessert. So look at this picture of Sam's mom. She looks almost exactly like Sophia as a baby. And there she is too. That is exactly what Sophia looked like as a baby. Isn't it funny? Like when Sophia was two and her and her grand Sam's mom was two, they looked identical. Because today is Good Friday, we don't eat meat, so we have a lot of fish. And Sam's mom does the best Good Friday meal. We had some mussels. Everybody in our family except for Sophia loves mussels. Pasta with clams inside of it. We had battered fish. It doesn't look that good, but oh my goodness, it was so good. We also had pierogies and then we had um, cheese pizza. His mom decided to have a little competition and they both made an Italian dessert called Zeppola. It's basically just a donut, uh, but it's really, really light. All of them at once. <laughs> They're all out here. <laughs> Look at her go! <laughs> Aww. Wow, she's going! Come on! <laughs> she doesn't like to be dirty. She has to go past water. <laughs> She's so funny. <laughs> She's not gonna come down. She wants to come down because she wants to play with Ellie. She loves that, but, oh, she's coming. Come on! <laughs> come on! Good girl! Ooh. <laughs> it's actually cold out. I'm the first one down for chores and they're trying to catch Daisy. They're not trying to catch her, they're just trying to get her attention so she'll come to them. So the amazing thing that happened today, when we were away, we were able to watch the video of the horses today. I had the camera that we use for the field, a 365 degree surveillance. It has sound so we can hear. It has voice so we can talk to them if we want to. Oops, I forgot to turn on the light. It's awesome. I love it. Sophie and I are going to start taking our dogs for walks. Our dogs, our horses. I love that Ellie likes to go for walks. So we're going to be doing that a lot. Hi, ponies. Looking cute. Super cute. There's my stalker. <laughs> hey, we are literally at the point now where I can put Ellie. Ellie, come here. Ellie. Where I can put Ellie on the ground and she comes to me when I call her, good girl. And she just hovers around my feet. Like I can call her when she's starting to go towards the horses. Literally all the hard work and all the stress is like starting to get a little bit better. She's so good. She's literally right between my feet and Willow's right here. Between my feet. Ah, come here. Come here. Come here. Good girl. This is what she says when she wants up. And you might be able to tell that I've been carrying her. <laughs> 
All right, it's time for the big guys to come in. We're gonna give them dinner. Holy man, it's exhausting eating a lot of good food. She even listens when I tell her to leave the poop. Like she is turning into the best little, little dog. Every time Willow looks at her, she runs back to me. So she's learning. I love seeing Molly out there with Gabby. One thing you guys might not know is that Molly shadows Gabby the way that Ellie shadows me. And Daisy shadows Sophie the way that Ellie shadows me. Like all of our dogs for sure know who loves them. Most of the water in the arena is dried up, you guys. It's dinner time. Ellie, get out of her food. Ellie, don't go in their food. Let's go for a run. Let's go for a run. I feel so much better bringing Ellie down to the barn than keeping her around the house because the road is so close to the house. And she's still so young and she's still learning and she's learning so fast. Like that was the best time I've ever had in the barn with her running free and the horse is there. She was perfect. Not only was she perfect, but the other dogs were there, which were are always like, hi, <laughs> which are always a big distraction for her. But even when she goes too far and she follows them, if she can't see me, she stops and waits or comes back. Hi, babe. <laughs> you're such a good girl. Now you're a dirty girl. Don't you know that you're beautiful?